Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me here tonight. So tonight we have kind of a chill video and I know many of you will miss the role plays but some of you this might be just what you need. We are going to be playing Minecraft. I'm going to be talking about whatever <laughs> and we're going to have a good time and this will actually be my first time playing Minecraft with shaders so it'll look super pretty and I'm really excited hopefully I've got the settings all right for you guys so, we'll just go ahead and get started. Hop on into it, as the Minecraft YouTubers would say. I have to uncover one ear to make sure I'm not talking too loudly. Look at this. This. How gorgeous is this, right? I myself am a little dumbfounded because even though I've played Minecraft for so long, I have never gone through the effort of putting shaders on my Minecraft worlds, but I've seen people do this. I've never really had a computer until now that would do this. So this is pretty incredible to actually see this on the computer that I'm currently using. Actually, because this is ASMR. We are going to turn it to easy and some of you may call me a scrub, but that's okay. But we're turning it to easy tonight because we want to just relax and have a good time, right? So, gosh, this is just perfect. We have a village over here. Um, ignore my kind of cringy Sylvanas skin. I probably should have changed that to something a little bit more aesthetic before I started, right? But I did not have the foresight to do that. We have a village right here. Surely that's not an ice spike. I see way back. That would be crazy. Surely not. So that's one of the rarest biomes in the game. But maybe if it is, it's a good sign. Man, doesn't this snow sound absolutely wonderful? This is actually perfect. Go ahead and get to work here on setting our character up. Because I was debating having whatever world that I started for you guys, I was debating having it be an all snowy biome world to make it a little bit more difficult, a little bit more fun, um, but I was worried I was going to be disappointed because this is my first time using shaders and I felt like it was kind of a shame to, um, have shaders on for the first time and not be able to see all of the biomes that Minecraft has. I think that is an ice spikes. So 
just making sure I have all my settings right on this other monitor over here. Let me try breaking a block. Okay, that sounds okay. I hear skeletons, but I don't know where they are. Hopefully this isn't going to annoy the ever-loving, I don't know, crap, I guess. I don't want to be too PG-13. Hopefully crap is okay for you guys. But I do have the um, almost sound subtitles turned on in the right corner. That's how I like to play. So I can tell what all the sounds are because sometimes you, you know, you miss things and you don't want to miss a creeper creeping up on you. So we will definitely be diving into that ice spike biome over there. And it looks like we have a taiga, <laughs> not tiger, but T-A-I-G-A -A over there. And we have a village right here. So this is a great start to our Minecraft world. Everything's looking so gorgeous with the shaders that we have. We have some soup, potatoes, snow. We have a bed. Great. This is perfect. So, I might actually make these sounds a little bit. that for a little bit. Let me open this door. Okay, that'll probably be good. It's about the same. Actually, a little bit more. I'm very indecisive. Okay. All good? All good. Um, I like the white bed, so we're gonna take that, and I think they only need one lantern here. You know, that's just gonna, gonna disappear on me if I don't have a cobblestone. So I'm so nervous doing this for you guys. Um, you know, forgetting my Minecraft basics here. What was I doing? Oh yes. Crafting table. First things first. Mm. We can go ahead and set up shop in here. And what I like to do is I just like to get a pickaxe and go ahead and find some random cobblestone around here. Looks like there's a few good starting caves and go ahead and mine out the cobblestone for everything. So I have the, a pick, a sword, an axe, and a furnace. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and All of that. We're gonna go back to our igloo here. And I um, apologize for any computer noises in the background. I'm sure I've tried my hardest to eliminate those for you, but there's only so much that I can do, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead, get this situated. We'll get this tree growing out here. Oh, it's, I love how the wind is moving through all the grass. So gorgeous. Okay, let me in here. Oh. 
looks like I could have set up shop in here, actually. This looks actually a little bit nicer. And just cut this tree down. To get some space in front here. That'll all disappear. I kind of want to move our station into there. I'm a little bit... and then the walls won't mount on us, that'll be good. I'm a little bit persnickety. And I really like making things look good. But unfortunately, I like making things look good, but I'm not very good at actually doing it in Minecraft, I find not a very good builder. There are already torches in here. Okay. So let's clean that up. I'll throw that somewhere. It's cold there. We can go ahead and make those potatoes. This tree. sun is already setting here. I haven't even looted everything. Oh, I hear a villager. Right there. Hello, little guy. What's in here? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. That, that's pretty good. We're getting very lucky. This is a very good sign. What do you guys it's a very, very good sign, right? Alright, let's back to our house. Oh, we're gonna kick him out of that bed. That blue bed is mine. Okay, and the sun is bright and shining. <gasps> Look at that sunset. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The day is new in our Minecraft world. We are exploring our village. We have food, we have shelter. We're doing pretty good for spawning in a less than perfect biome. And I also noticed, there's nothing in here, there is a lava lake close by, so whenever we're ready, we should have very little issue getting to the nether. This village is a little confusing. Oh, there's a cow. I cannot believe that is an ice spike. Nothing. Oh, hello, small child. It's looking like there is nothing too, too interesting. Unless it's in here. Oh, it's a lectern. That's kind of boring. But we do have some bookshelves. So that'll save us some time. In the future. And... I don't think I went in here. I think he's trapped, actually. <laughs> Go ahead and help this guy out. Okay. So, so, so. Our first thing that we should start crafting Oh, it's almost too easy spawning in a village, isn't it? This is our house, right? Almost lost our house because the tree wasn't there. Okay. We should put another torch. 
left right there. So I know which house is ours. So we have some beetroot seeds. Uh, I should have left one of these potatoes probably. Sorry if you were screaming at me to leave the potatoes. I totally just ignored you. Um, there might be some over here though. We're okay. And villages spawn everywhere these days, so. Yes. Hello there. Um, see this might be a potato. We're fine. I think we should maybe get a little garden of our own going. Um, we have pumpkins. So we have pumpkin seed. We could make a pumpkin garden, we could make a potato garden, I would just go and collect um, different animal foods, but looks like we, we are in between a couple of snowy biomes and that might take a little bit more time and use more resources than we really want. If we were to make a little potato farm, okay, so he's got, we can make a beet farm, potato farm, I'm pretty sure these are potatoes, yeah, <laughs> you don't mind replanting those, right? That's just regular seeds. Okay. Well, anyway, we have what can be a garden here. And judging by this water, it doesn't look like whatever we build is going to freeze. We might have to venture a little bit for water sources. We have two right there, two right there, and we would just need two more. We would need some buckets. Okay, you know what we should do? We should explore that crack. While we have some bread and potatoes and other things to sustain us, let's have a look at some of these caves. See if we can find some iron. I need to make more torches here. Okay. Nothing there, it looks like. Nothing here, it looks like. Okay. Now, here's the a big crack over here. I know there's got to be stuff here. I see a lot of coal. A lot of copper. What is with all the copper? Is it is it just me? Or does anybody else wish that they had just never added copper. It seems kind of pointless to me, if I'm being honest. Alright, let's see. Oh. Are there are any friends down here. Now, I will say one thing I'm not liking about Oh, it's a mine shaft. Some lapis. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Well, we'll get to that eventually. First, let's collect 
all this copper. I don't think any monsters can get to us. Right here. So let's collect, or not all this copper, all this coal. Let's get this iron. Don't fall. really great start and I'm imagining maybe we can make a fun interesting house in one of the ice spikes I think that would be really cool a base in the ice spikes all right I believe that was all the coal here. Let's dig ourselves a little way out. We can go to and from down here. I'm sure we'll eventually excavate out that mine shaft. we run back to our house. Let's get... Oh! I'm not quite ready to face monsters yet, I don't think. We'll run back here. Parkour up. Our house is on this side. And we'll run back to our nice little village where our bed is. And we have two iron. home. We're doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. We have an abandoned mine shaft to explore. We have ice spikes to explore. We're about to kick this guy out of his bed again. He's an armor. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay. Sorry, man. So, what should we do today? Let's go back and grab the rest of that coal. Is there anything right here? There's a little crack. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything right here. We'll just take that back. Go back to our cavern, get some coal, we can armor up, and maybe we can face those skeletons down there. So I see a lot, or I'm looking into my crystal ball and seeing a lot of resources over here. We just need to take the initiative. I also wish I had just some dirt blocks, some building blocks. I know I could make a shovel, but I kind of don't believe in shovels. You know? Unless I'm doing a really big project, I guess. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Actually, let's do that. Make ourselves some steps here, just in case anything sticky happens. Okay, we're fine. Nope. Let's get the 
let's that up. That is pretty dark down there. Okay. Here's some more iron. Oh, just a single vein. It's a little disappointing. Here's some coal. Another single vein. Oof. Devil disappointing. All right. Here's our beautiful chasm. The best way to get down there. Maybe we should carve some stairs. Somewhere on this side. I guess this is how we got down there last time. Let's just do this. Make it really simple here. Okay. Perfect. Let's make a few more torches. Okay. Then we can get some of this lit up so you can really see what we're working with. We have a zombie. That. I hear more zombies. And I'm not sure where they're coming from. Probably over there. Okay. These torches do an awful job of lighting things up. It's looking like that's one of my few complaints about shaders. Is it the torches aren't really doing a whole lot for me here? What is this way? So Okay, awesome. Got that all lit up. Wow, this is extremely dark. get a little bit more mining security, but I thankfully have my subtitles open so I can see, I think, if anything creepy creeps up on us. Should be okay to mine for a little bit. This is a nice big vein of coal. Hopefully your day is going okay wherever you are out there. For the few of you who are watching, thank you for even watching this far. I was really scared to put this video out here because I feel like not a whole lot of people are going to watch this one, so... If you stuck around... Good for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is pretty fun, right? I hear another zombie. And another one. Where are they coming from? I can't help but wonder, I'm always curious, whenever you start World for the first time, sometimes it's happened where 
monster spawners glitch up and spawn very, very close to the surface. So, I'm always sort of wondering and cautious. Sometimes you can catch dungeons on the surface. See, these aren't lighting up the area at all. I have no idea what anything around here looks like. Look, there was a creeper. Wow, those things are silent. So, the longer we wait here, the more monsters are going to spawn. So I really want to get all these torches down, I think. I wonder if in the settings there's a way to make them work a little better. We like smooth lighting. Brightness default. Maybe if we turn the brightness up a little bit. See shadows. Skill auto. Okay. Go here. Okay, we're, we're gonna do torch luminance way up here because I want to be able to see things. We'll see what that does. Turn this brightness down again. Okay, let's see what that does. Hopefully I can see things a little bit better now. See, but that doesn't seem like it's working at all. I don't know. Let's, let's sleep on it. How about that? <laughs> Back to our little cave. Here we go. I got here a little early. The sun is going down. We can see some beautiful ice spikes in the distance. We should probably figure out the food situation because the spread won't last forever. Doesn't that bed look so comfy? <laughs> Hopefully, your bed is comfy, wherever you are. Hopefully you've got the AC turned down to 68. A bunch of blankets, maybe it's raining outside. <clears throat> Sounds good. Beautiful sun, beautiful sun. You know, I forgot to look up the setting where you turn your arm and your hotbar off to take really pretty screenshots. So I'll have to 
figure that out for the thumbnail of this video. See, torch, torch luminance isn't doing a whole lot. It's, it's, it's like it takes it a few seconds to get powered up or something. It's a little weird. Anyway, I think if it looks like we're kind of free of creepers, we can get this coal here. I'll keep my eye over there. I'm just waiting for the ominous hissing. But I didn't see anyone. So I think we might be okay. And with this coal, we can make a few more torches, light up a few more areas, maybe find some more iron, and then we'll start making a little farm. So I'm going to do this in the light, where I can sort of see everything. We've got 16 torches. I'll go and light some of these areas up. Okay. Let's light this area up. Up here a little bit. See, I wouldn't have guessed that there were torches right there. It's so dark. Just get all the monsters on us. Okay, what are we dealing with? Come on, everyone. Concentrate there for a second. There are a lot of creepers over here. You know, if you're not worried about blowing up, their uh, their little fizzing sound is not so bad. Creeper is such oh, an iconic character. It's sort of a, I don't know if unique is the right word, but you know, it's not just a zombie. We see zombies everywhere. It's a pretty unique little foe. See, I can't see anything unless I'm in the torches. But it's not very helpful if I'm in the torches. I want to be able to see what is over here. I can see some mobs down there. Is that a lake? No, that's just fog. Okay. I see many, many things down there. See some iron. That's pretty good. 
No, there's there's water down there. I'm seeing water. There you go. And whatever that is over there. Interesting. I might have to fiddle with the settings a little bit because I need to be able to see. I can't see anything. That's ridiculous. I need to fix that. I'm scared things are gonna pop out of the shadows because I can't see anything. Okay. I need to make another pickaxe. So we'll go back and do that. And we'll make Get a little farm started, I think. Make a few buckets. This cobblestone is almost done. Okay. It is finished. Let's go and smelt some stuff. Get some stuff in the works. Maybe we can take a look at those ice caps. No, we need to get food first. We need to get a food good food chain going before we go adventuring, right? Do -do -do -do. Okay, where's our little house? Right here. Our house for now, I should say. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? Let's place down this furnace. Can get. Oh, I don't know why I just did that in that order. We can get this smelting. And if I was going to try and build a little farm, I'd probably build it right here. We want to go ahead and make. Pretty sure you can still make this a never-ending water source right here. Actually, we might be able to do that with just the water in that farm. Unfortunately, that means that whole farm is going to die, but that's gonna that's gonna be okay. That is gonna be okay. And move it to our little 4x4 four four we have made right here. And let's go grab the other little bit of water over here. Yes. Sorry, crops. You will be replaced and not made. Unfortunately. Yeah, this water makes me wish I had a glass of water. I can't even, I can't tell. Okay, it's slanting that way. There you go. So, oh, did they fix it? I think they fixed it. Maybe not. Maybe I was just taken from the wrong place. Anyway. <laughs> We can put it back. Um, so, for our farm, we want to be as efficient as possible for right now. So what I like to do is I like to have... Oh, it did freeze. Interesting. A little base block. And if this is going to freeze... Let's go ahead and do that. Is there something over it? I believe that keeps it from freezing. Let's go ahead. Hollow out all this. I 
And it looks like we need to hop into our bed really fast. We'll get those dirt pieces tilled. There we go. We'll just use a wooden hoe for that. Go like this. You should be able to plant many, many things on this right now. We can go ahead and plant some potato, get some wheat going. We have some beetroot seeds. Let's get some pumpkin seeds going. I'm sure eventually. We will find some sugar cane and some eggs and some beetroot seeds. I bet if I raid that farm over there, I might get some more potatoes. Yes! Oh, and a carrot. That's good. Go ahead and plant the rest of this. I almost wish I didn't plant all that beetroot. This beetroot is a little unnecessary. <laughs> um, let's plant a carrot in one of these. Okay. Perfect. Whew, my eyes are watering a little. I don't think my... I had my sunglasses over here. Oh, here they are. my sunglasses over here from playing Super Mario Sunshine. So my eyes are hurting a little bit still. I swear. You know, when I was younger, I know we all feel like this, you just, you really think that Nothing is ever wrong with you, and you reach a certain point where every day you wake up and something's wrong. <laughs> and you realize that this whole time you did, in fact, have issues. All right, let's make another bucket because for our another portal. We will at least need two buckets. I strongly believe that buckets are some of the most useful items in the game. I love my buckets. So let's see if this is... Okay, it is an infinity, infinite water source. So we could just make another little farm here if we wanted to. I think I can actually make this wider still if I wanted. And we can throw some more crops down and have a really nice first little harvest here. I think the water reaches that far. Yes, I believe it does. Okay. So we can throw down the rest of these potatoes and that wheat seed that we That's going to be really, really nice for us. Go ahead and eat. Very, very nice. 
Okay. So, what should we do now? We have our farm going. I know I saw one cow. He's over there roaming around a little bit. We could make a little corral for our cows. I believe cows are pretty useful. But I only saw one. Let's see if we can find another little cow. Or is this just the lone cow of the place? Looking like he is the lone cow. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Okay. Oh, nope, there's another one over there, right? Yeah, okay. So, we can build a little corral for our cows. I think that would be nice. That way we'd have leather, milk, meat if we needed it. And we have wheat to breed them already growing, so we just need many planks of wood to make a little corral. So, okay, everything I have is in my pockets. Let's see here. For a fence. Oh, that's a gate. This bin's not in here yet? That's weird. It's just, I think it's the opposite of this, actually. Did I miss it? No. Interesting. Well, you know what we could also make? We could also make some boots with this iron. If anything helps at this point. So, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it wants me to make more sticks, and then it's gonna tell me. Yep, there it is. So. Okay, need some more sticks. How about this? Let's see what this will get us. 30. That's pretty good. Can just pop something up really quick. Something temporary just to get everything moving. Let's go ahead and take down this tree and get this area ready. <laughs> Alright, so let's make a little corral. really mean for that to be right there, but we'll make it work. That looks about right. All right. Perfect. Well, we need one for the fence post. And make that one for the fence post, the fence gate. I mean, gosh, my words get so mixed up sometimes. Okay, we need some more blocks. There we go. All right, spruce fence gate. Here we go. And because I'm feeling a little sorry for our cows, I almost want to spruce this up a little and give it a nice little roof. Or 
you know, that can probably wait until we move into our ice spike home. I think these glasses make everything just a little bit too dark. that open? Okay. So, what should we do next? Oh yes. How's our wheat doing? Very slow. Very slow. That's okay. That's okay. We can go and get some more minerals. Or we can go and have a look at those ice spikes really fast. That might be kind of fun. I can't believe we spawned right next to an ice spike pile. These people go and search for those things. Okay. It's a good omen. It's a good omen. It's a sign. It's this way. Oh, we should probably make a pickaxe before we... Ice spikes. Here we come. I see you over there. <laughs> Gosh, the clouds are so pretty. You know, I don't think the clouds change at all, though. I think they're always that really drawn out. What are they called? Not cumulus. I know you, you learned the name in school, right? The really drawn out and wispy clouds. Oh yes, there is our ice spikes biome. Look at that. And we even have some more lava if we needed it. I see some, maybe some pumpkins. I'm not sure. Over there. But this is just incredible. Oh, there, there's an igloo. Look at that. There's an igloo. Oh my gosh, there's an igloo. That is really some incredible luck. There's another cow. You can go ahead and check out this igloo as well. Excuse me. Is there not a super secret room? Weird. I guess not. Usually in Iclus, there's that uh, little room with the villager. Mm, that's very anticlimactic. Anyways. Here's our lovely ice spikes bio. Looks very nice. There might be a desert over there. Some pumpkins. Some cactus right there of all things. Yep, there's some cactus. Oh no, that's sugarcane. <laughs> that makes more sense. See, I said we'd come on some sugarcane eventually. So this just looks amazing. Look, there's a broken one over there that looks really cool. Um, so if we... Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. If we were going to make a house in one of these. It'd probably be this one, right? So that looks pretty big, but I'd hate for our house to not be really in the midst 
the eye spikes, but this looks really nice. Be sure not to... Oh, see, that's broken. Break the ice underneath because then it's not as cool that you're living in an ice spike. But, you know, this might just be a glacier. And if it's on the water, then we can't really tunnel under it. So maybe we should just choose a regular ice bike. There's a shipwreck. They also, they really nerfed the chests in these things. It's my axe. See, here's when I'd probably make a shovel if I felt like it. I know used to these chests had all sorts of good stuff in them. No, I think they thought they were making the game too easy and they were a little bit right. It was getting a little easy. It's really if the only super hard part about getting to the Ender Dragon, I feel like, is finding the Nether Fortress in the Nether. I feel like, oh, that's pretty good. Just kidding. Maybe they didn't nerf them at all. <laughs> wow. Anyway, maybe they didn't nerf the chests at all. Maybe I was playing in a later update where they did that. That was pretty good. Anyways, oh, there's a, I see another village and a ruined portal over there. So, one thing is leading to another here. Go and check out these ice spikes in a second. I love these little spires. They look so cool. I think maybe we could live in maybe one of those. If there was one on a hill in there that looked particularly nice. Let's go check out this ruined portal. See, now getting to the nether is super easy. So you have these nether portals. Silk touch, that's pretty good. Curse of Vanishing, got it. Flint, obsidian, flint and steel. Take that, take the carpet. Two flint and steel. Oh, we just need one. And obsidian. Uh, take that. Golden apple. That's pretty good. Alright. And this is missing the top. And it has these two crying pieces in it. Which is frustrating. So, really, this portal is almost complete. We could easily complete it with a water bucket. Um, let's go see if I actually did see a village or if I was imagining things. Maybe I was imagining things. I have been known to do that. These I love the snowy biomes. They're so gorgeous. And they feel a little bit more wild and difficult than just the regular biomes. Nope. More sugar cane, we'll go and grab that so we don't have to worry about it later. Making sure not to get lost here. We're right through that little clearing. So another hole almost fell off, but I didn't. Okay, we still have a bed. Very, very. Even if we did get lost, everything that I have, um, everything that I have is 
on my person at the moment, I believe. So cool. I debated um, also doing the world with you guys, making it an all I spike world. That would be very interesting, I think. Difficult. How big is this biome? Oh, it's making my computer lag a little bit. Oh, not too big. Come on, girl. And there's some snow on this side. So if I was going to build a base in one of these spires, oop, load up on baked potato, and a baked potato sounds really good right now, I think I would choose that one. That one looks very tall and menacing. And actually what you could do is now that I have this golden silk touch pickaxe, I think I can mine some of this packed ice. Yes, I can. And I can build with it. What should I replace here? Carpet? Yep. So, that's pretty handy. Go ahead and sleep. If you sleep really fast, then monsters don't spawn on the ground. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Really like this one. Let's see. Unfortunately, the base of the spires isn't quite as filled out. But I bet if we take this silk touch and get all the surrounding spikes or I guess this is only going to last for one spike it looks like This gold went fast I probably should have used that for something more important So we have 32 of these precious packed ice pieces. So if we make a little door maybe right here some dirt and just sketch this out. Okay. So how thick? I think we can go right there. And right there. Do you think we can get three more across? Maybe with this packed ice we can make that happen. Should we close it up right here? So now that we can get even that away. Fill that up. Okay. We now 
have a little house inside of the ice spikes. Perfect. We're probably not even gonna move into this little house quite yet, but it's here. It's waiting for us whenever we're ready. Can build some little steps, maybe. do that at least and then we can make these steps out of something else I think that looks really good um, I need to look up if packed ice will melt because I really don't want it to melt if we just like light this on fire will that melt the ice around it <laughs> Can I light the ice on fire? I can't. Will that melt anything? It's melting the snow, it looks... Excuse me. It looks like... I kind of... Okay, it didn't melt. Interesting. I kind of want to go up there and start a fire. So I know which spike is mine. But I don't know if I can do that yet. Oof. Okay. That water is so gorgeous. All right. Let's head back. I think it'd also be cool to make the that one pyre a little bit bigger, so it'd really stand out in the ice spikes pile. Okay, I'm getting way too much into it. <laughs> okay, that's good though. We have some goals. It's good to have some goals. Let's head back to our little house. I think we've got what we sort of set out to get. <laughs> Maybe by now the crops will have grown. Oop. Come on, computer. It's lagging a little bit. The crops will have grown. We can secure the cows. Secure the cows. <laughs> Maybe armor up a little bit. Definitely have some work to do. We'll probably need to venture into the ta taiga. Even that's got. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. T a i g a. Venture venture into that a little bit to get some more wood. These crops are not grown at all. Maybe it's because the biome. Maybe I'm just unlucky. But we're gonna have to get another source of food pretty soon. Go ahead and store this golden apple in here. And the obsidian. We can go ahead and get the pants, if we can find that guy. I hear him. He's somewhere around here. Is that him? Armor. Yeah, it is. Okay. Seven emeralds. Yay. Perfect. Okay. So now we have pants. Oh, we can get a chest plate too with the loot from that um, ship and probably a sword as well. Yes. Should we do a sword or a iron pickaxe? I almost want to do an iron pickaxe instead of a sword. 
because I feel like that's more useful in the long run. And whenever we venture into that mine shaft, maybe we'll be able to find diamonds or gold or something where we need this pickaxe. Oh, we might actually be able to make enough ingots. Ingots? With those things. No, we don't. Well, that's enough for a sword. Okay. So we can make a sword. Good, 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 good. We're moving up in the world. We're moving up. Okay. And that guy trades emeralds for coal. That's a pretty good trade. Have a good amount of coal. I kind of want to make some more torches and go in that mine shaft and just see what we can see. Might be a little risky, 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 risky. Let's leave our, sure that's our spawn point. Let's leave our beetroot, emeralds, half our coal, pumpkins, all of this good stuff. Let's go ahead and leave that there. And, well, is that rising or setting? I'm pretty sure that's setting. So we might just go back to sleep and then go to the mine shaft. Yeah, that's setting. Okay. The sun sets on our world. Sleep, 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 sleep. sleep now? There we go. There we go. All good? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's go see what we can see in that mine shaft. And we've got a great start going here. Really, really good start. Only these torches worked. Only the torches worked. I can't believe the torches don't work very well. That's a little ridiculous. Okay. See, they look fine once you're down here, but... Okay, here's what. We're gonna do. I wish I had more dirt blocks. We're gonna run through this mine shaft as fast as possible and light everything up that we can before all the monsters spawn. I think there's a witch right there. Who's trying to kill me. That's very unfortunate. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, there's a witch. Goodbye. Oh, she hit me. Oh, no. Where's my dirt? Oh, no. She's gonna get me. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. We're good. We're good. We made it out. Oh, I wish I had some milk. So my plan almost worked, 
we have learned some valuable info that there are a great many things down there that I am not yet prepared for. And what we really need is a shield and a bow. That would make me very happy. But we did not die. And that's all that we needed for now. It's fine. Um, and there's lapis right there. There's lapis right there. We need some diamonds and we can start enchanting stuff. We will really be on. Let's go and figure out this food situation. I find myself in need of food. And our crops are refusing to grow. And I've only seen two cows for a very... the whole time we've been out here. I really don't want to kill Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, well, a pumpkin's grown. Wish we had some chickens. We can go ahead and harvest this pumpkin, though. I'm not sure if those potatoes are full grown. No, they are not. Okay. See, I was pretty sure they weren't. But we almost have some potatoes. And then we'll have some more food. For now, we should probably just take it easy. Take it easy. So, what have we done? We have a really good cave system to get minerals and all that sort of stuff. We have the ice spikes. We have an aesthetic home. Everyone needs an aesthetic home when you're playing Minecraft. We have no food. In terms of food, we have no food. Um, we have missed, we have a, some support, Mr. Polar Bear, a wildlife friend, everyone needs that, and, you know, we have some, have some good m minerals, we have a village, uh, we don't really have an emerald trading system set up yet. But we have some, a lot of bookshelves, so if we were to find some diamonds, we have some obsidian in our chest, we would be able to start the process of enchanting. I would just need to make it to that lapis in the abandoned mine shaft. So we have a lot of things that I could pursue, but... I feel like right now we just need more basic gear and items. So I think I'm going to walk over to this forest. And I'm going to see if we can find maybe some pigs. Zombie villager grows. Zombie villager. I'm going to walk over to the trees, we'll get some more wood, and we might happen upon some cows or some pigs or some sheep. That'll give us a little bit more sustenance. So that's what we need right now. There are pumpkins everywhere. I remember when I used to have to travel half the, half the map it felt like to find pumpkins. Here they are. 
start by chopping down some wood. We're gonna need some food here in a second. We've exhausted. Oh, perfect. Villages supply of food. Here more zombies. Give me the chicken. Where are you? Are you below me? Guess they're below me. Oh, there's some pigs. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh. Oh, I'm glad we came over here. Found exactly what we needed. The forest. Oh my gosh, there it went. <laughs> the forest has provided. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the video. As you can see, we are diving back into our Minecraft world. This is part two, so if you would like to go watch part one, I will probably leave it linked in the description of this video, and maybe I should go back and watch part one because I don't remember anything that we did, so I'm gonna be figuring some stuff out. Thanks for clicking on the video, and I hope you enjoy this really cool, casual, lo-fi uh, video for this week. And I hope we are all doing well and staying safe. So, let's get into the video. And this will be pretty much soft-spoken the whole time, so hopefully we like that, and of course, if we want a whisper video in the future, just let me know, and I will happily do it. So, here we are in our little world. I did change the shaders pack, as well as the resource texture. What's the difference? I don't know. As well as the texture pack of the world, um, because I was having some issues with the lighting, I just, I, I couldn't see, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I couldn't see. I don't know what was going on with the shaders, but in the dark, the lanterns weren't really doing a whole lot, so I changed the shaders a little bit so I could actually see things and play the game more efficiently. Um, and I also thought a texture pack would look sort of nice, but I've never actually used this texture pack before. So I am a little concerned that I might not know what things look like. Oh, it moves. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> I'm impressed by very small details. Um, and actually, speaking, I say actually too much. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to work on my dictation and speech and all that. I'm so sorry. Um, the last Minecraft video, um, a little behind the scenes fact that you can sort of tell is uh, going on if you listen very closely or and watch very closely, but I don't think anybody noticed it, thankfully, um, is I actually, sorry, I recorded the, I don't know where my house is, so I'm going, I'm kind of guessing, um, 
I recorded the camera bit. Oh, that's a crafting table. Okay. The, uh, this looks like my stuff. The camera bit, not with my webcam, which is what I'm doing right now, but with my phone, um, which I thought wasn't going to be a problem, um, until it was, and for some reason the, um, uh, visuals with my phone did not want to sync to the audio that was, uh, recorded with the Yeti, so it was really weird. It starts off synced, but as the video slowly progresses, it gets more and more out of sync. It was really, really weird. Um, so I'm recording with my webcam, hello, uh, this time to hopefully avoid that issue. I see we have what I think is some wheat here. Yes, okay. It's a little hard to tell with the texture back. I don't really know what anything looks like, and I am a very visual person, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I'm trying to figure it out. Alright, are those Fulcro? This is Fulcro. Should we just destroy it with this? Oh, potato. Okay. Um, so we'll just replant that. Um, this looks full grown. I think. Yep, that was, that was two. Uh, this looks full grown. Those look full grown. Oh, carrots. So I believe I was in what looks like the middle of making a, a little farm. So I'm just going to continue my work here to get started. I need to, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to turn it off peaceful because I was, had it on peaceful to take uh, thumbnails so nothing else impactful would happen. Um, so we can have a, a little bit of danger. So, you know, we, life needs just that little bit of danger. Is this cooked? Okay. Looks like an ear. Alright. Wheat, carrot, raw chicken, potato. Did I have a house? Surely I had a house. I don't even know what that is. Surely I did. One of these, probably. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and put that on so it can be cooking. Oh, what those fire noises? Is that a texture pack thing? I swear those aren't regular Minecraft noises. Um, so, we should finish our good work and continue building a farm. Oh, and I was about to breed animals, probably. That's what this looks like. Um, I think I was running around in a forest when I faded out because my phone also died in part one and that's why it sort of just fades out because my phone decided to die and it was recording uh, my face so couldn't continue all right and I have some Everlasting water right there. Maybe that's my house. 
That would make sense. Oh, I was just in here. Yeah, this this is probably my house. Oh, this is definitely my house. Okay, this is definitely my house. Um, do I not? All right, I just have that single chest. Um, I'm also recording the my voice and the game audio separately, so I can make sure that nothing is too loud for everyone. Um, I can make sure and match sort of the ratio I had in the last video because I think oh, we all like that. So, just in case. Um, yeah. Uh, and if you want to know um, the resource pack I'm using is the clarity and then the shaders pack is BSL. So if you want to recreate this, that's what you would use. I feel like this looks pretty great. Um, and the seed, somebody asked in the last, oh, sorry microphone, in the last video, that's the seed for you guys. And I'm probably pretty close to the spawn, I want to say. So, if you guys want to play along, you can. Yeah, so, what I'm thinking is clearly we still, we need to sort of keep up this resource of food. Um, so I can continue to eat, of course, very important. Um, but this looks a little boring. Um, so if I were to put sort of an interior, like, design, thinking, architect brain, or goggles on, I'm envisioning something that's sort of drawing from this natural uh, dark oak sort of landscape. This is so bright. This is actively hurting my eyes. Uh, one second here. Goodness. Where's the brightness? Down just a little bit, maybe. Okay, that didn't help. Alright, um... Looks, looks like we're suffering. Oh, I also, I found an ice spike last time as well, right? And I was maybe going to move over there? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, that seems a little bit boring. This water, I promise. <laughs> um, so I do see some animals hopping over there. Uh, so maybe we should abandon the ice spike route and go for a more medieval um, mahogany sort of village. I'm thinking lots of fireplaces. Lots of uh, windows, windows, fire, dark wood. Um, it's don't get your hopes up because I can't build all that well, so it's probably not going to look um, amazing. But it's going to have some really good intentions behind it. Yeah, that's what we're going. So, and it's great that we have this pretty much flat area. I think we can definitely work with this and not have to terraform a whole, whole lot. Hello, polar bear. Oh, oh, he groaned. Oh, okay. Um, I remember I had this crevasse, crevice, sort of mining operation going down there. Um, so, it's also great 
this seems to be like so, sort of the flattest area, I think. So if we were to make just a really pretty house and then we could have um, a nice path going from the house to the village, maybe. We'll have some views of the mountains. Mountains over here. Village right there. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm liking it. Um, so the sun is setting, so we'll probably have to go and sleep soon, but I'm really liking this area. And I think we'll come back to this. So the sun sets over here, so we probably want to make um, all the really pretty windows face this way, because that is just, that is just gorgeous. I have this sort of I don't know if it's a crazy idea or a really good idea or something that's uh, just sort of worth a shot and we'll see how it goes um, for another video I was thinking that it might be sort of cool to do a nature hike but, and of course, record the hike, but have two um, wireless microphones and attach them to, do I have enough food to sort of get me through the day here? Um, I don't know. We'll just uh, do that. Okay. Oh, you can't cook here. And I have steak. Okay, that's fine. Um, and attaching them to my feet. Hold on. Where did I say I was going to build this thing? I think it was over here. Right. And attaching them to my feet. So it picks up all of the walking footstep noises. Um, and it'll, it would be, um, binaural since I'd have a microphone for, uh, each foot. So, you know, left foot, left ear, right foot, right ear, um, combined with the actual, actual works in this context, combined with the footage of the hike, so it's like you were really there, and you're really getting those, I hit the microphone again, I'm so sorry, and you're really getting those good walking, crunchy footstep noises, and it's, I feel like it's a lot more immersive, and I've looked, I've looked on YouTube, and I can't find a hike that has the footstep noises, and I feel like we are the ASMR gang. We love the footstep noises. We should uh, be all about that. But I, you know, can't find anything. So I thought it might be sort of something to look into. Um, if you're still watching and you think that sounds great, uh, feel free to let me know. <laughs> um, and I'll look further into it. I don't have um, any any, any wireless microphones at the moment, so it, I would have to invest a little bit, but, um, that's okay, and I feel like eventually I would use the microphones for, for something, so I need to make a shovel. gonna make the, I'm sure the, the tenth, I hear that rabbit running around, the uh, tenth crafting table that I have, um, 
I might have to turn this texture back off because it's almost impeding my thought process because I can't see. I've, I've been playing Minecraft for a long time, but I've never used a texture pack before, so I'm very, very much used to the vanilla stuff, and it's throwing me off just a little bit. Um, gonna turn that down on my end, which means I'll probably turn the audio down on your end as well. Can I change the blocks? We're just going to take off this top layer of dirt. I think that would be good. sort of build, um, maybe like almost an arch, an arch going like that or some sort of shape. We'll just have a, um, a wall start right here and a wall start right here and then sort of arch them together and then this will all be glass and then we'll expand the wall this way and it'll and it's like if, imagine a can and we flip it on its side, nobody's going to know what I'm talking about. So I'm imagining we do something like this, except this isn't just a square. This is something nice and aesthetic and then we'll expand it this way and then do like this, and then this will, you know, all be filled in. Um, and then this will be glass, and then the interior will just be the interior. Um, and then on the sides, maybe we can do some uh, fire pits. Some nice fire pits, that'd be good. That's what I'm feeling. I don't think it's going to look. I'm not a very good builder, so it's not going to look super aesthetic like um, we're all sort of used to decades after watching Minecraft on YouTube all the time, but it, it'll have a lot of heart. A lot of heart. A lot of heart. Oh, my shovel broke. Do, 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 do. I'm also always paranoid about using iron for things. I don't think I have a lot of iron. hate this noise. Um, 
another thing that I'm envisioning is a path. The path can come down here. Maybe we can make some sort of uh, frozen lake or something, and then the path will wind around the lake, maybe over the lake, um, and then off to the village. Yeah. If I can pull it off. We'll see. Um, I think I don't need a whole lot of space. I think I'm just going to make a little outline here. All right. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So I think I'm just going to, I'll probably take out this top layer of snow right here. Um, and then everything sort of to the left of this line that I've made, and then we'll work on building the actual structure. So don't really want to bore anyone here, but this is a Minecraft long play, so she came here looking for something particularly exciting. You're probably in the wrong place. I'm about to sneeze. another shovel. Maybe I should just go ahead and make uh, two shovels. Yeah, okay. Oh, the sun's going down again. That's a beautiful sunset in this texture pack. They did a great job. I really, I really wish I knew more about how um, texture packs and shaders and Minecraft mods work because I really don't know a whole lot about the intricacies of coding, but I think it would not only be incredibly useful, but also pretty fascinating. I think it also involves a lot of math, and I am not very cash money at math. Not at all. Not at all. Very bad at math. Alright, we're gonna run back to our bed and go to sleep again. Oh, there's some lava over there. It's pretty good. Any of the mobs get us? We okay. All right. Man, I really kicked the villager out for good. He never came back. All right. Let's run back. I know, same, same. All right. Oh, we can go ahead and pick up things that these mobs leave behind. Oh, just kidding. We can't. My inventory is full. Okay. Just get back where I was. Sorry. I don't need, don't even have space. I'll get rid of this. Okay. Oh. Is that a stick? We want, we want those. Okay. There you go. Right. There we are. Okay, so we have that layer taken care of. Let's go ahead and get this top. a lot of 
dirt here. Okay, so we have all this taken care of. Alright, I think this is going to look really nice. Let's get some of these logs out and sort of set up an outline. Again, um, this isn't going to look good. So, we all just need to make sure our expectations are, you know, nice and low for what I can pull off here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> nice and low. Uh, okay, so I can go ahead and make it about right here. I think that'll look nice. Um, and then, let's see, let's go ahead and right here. And then, okay, perfect. So I suppose we need to figure out a shape that we are going to do here. I think we could go with the traditional a rectangle, but I don't think that'll look very good. Um, we could go with a triangle, we could go with a circle. I almost, well, we need to at least have three blocks of height. So let's go ahead and add that on all of our sides. What are we thinking? Are we thinking, um, four blocks of height? I'm kind of thinking four blocks of height. We want very tall and elegant ceilings. I think that would look very nice. This would have been a lot easier if I had decided on this when I was still standing on top of the blocks, but it's too late for that as we can see. Okay. And it's about time that we need to go get some more wooden uh, spruce logs. So before we leave this little area, oh, I can't, I was going to make another axe but it looks like the time for that has passed. Let's just go on to one of these trees and hammer these down. We can start with the ones just in the landscape. Have to build up. There we go. And good. We love lava pits. Lava pits make everything easier. Okay. Let's go and grab these. So we have at least uh, a minimum of 
four blocks of height. Um, let me make sure that I forgot to check this that we can have double doors because that's very important. All right, one. So, double doors, minimum four blocks of height. So, I guess the question is, when we start to come in, do we want there to be two blocks of come-in-ins? Do we want there to be one block, three blocks? Um, I'm not entirely sure. You know, I'm, I'm feeling pulled towards three blocks. Maybe we should start with that. We'll start on this side. Let's figure out where the middle is. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So that is the middle. Um, so it would be, it'd be cool if our final, the top of the roof had four, so we could make a nice overhang to our double doors. So if we ended with four, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'd have six to work with, so we could do three. I'm sorry if this makes sense to nobody but me. Um, I promise I can see it in my head and it makes sense. If we do three, three, and then four. Um, or we could do... Actually, is that... We could... Six. We could do two, two, and two. That might be kind of nice, and then we're sticking with sort of all evens. Actually, let's let's do that. I'm feeling drawn, drawn towards that. Um, well, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna come in. Like that, and then we are going to dig under one block. So when we enter the space, we are going down a little. Um, I I think that would be a very cute moment. Um, let's do it. So, and then we're going to do another two. Two, 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 right? Okay. And then about that should be four. Let's see if I did this right. And it looks like I did. Look at that. I was actually right. Okay. Oh. I have fallen. Um, so it'll look like that. So we'll finish this overhang. This whole front will be glass. We'll do the same thing on the back. Um, and I'm thinking fire on the sides. So I really just need to bring the bed over. I don't have to run back and forth. Ready. This is this is very aesthetic. This very light blue sky, all the snow. I think it'd be very fun to visit Alaska. Apparently, I think there is an Airbnb or some weird hotel where you can stay. 
where you can stay out in the middle of nowhere and it really just looks like the middle of nowhere. I think I'd be so afraid of polar bears that I wouldn't be able to uh, sleep at all. Oh, I need to eat. Um, so that would really be a no for me, I think, but it looks, if I was a little bit braver, I think it'd be fun. Um, I'm too afraid of polar bears. They're, they're very cool. Bears are very, very cool and, um, uh, nice looking, but they're not very nice in, uh, real life. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a quick break there, but we are working on our house. So, we have our 433. Um, I remember I was very surprised that it actually worked out. Pretty cash money. Um, so we need to do the other side. So it starts on that forest. Okay, so I'd already started, so I just need to build up. Okay. Preferably with dirt, but that's that's fine. It's fine. M remember what I was talking about. Um, has anyone else seen the YouTube videos or one of the YouTube videos where they are talking about that guy who really liked grizzly bears and then he got eaten by one. Has anybody else watched that? Or maybe just, oh, did I do it wrong? <gasps> no. Oh, wait. No, I'm good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. But, um, like, the grizzly whisperer, the grizzly man, he has some type of name that I don't think he served all that much in the uh, first place, but okay. Got it, right? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's get rid of these dirt structures. Okay. Almost done with this side. If you haven't ever watched one of those videos, um, it's about this guy who would frequently go to Alaska and study the bears, um, which really it sounded like he was just sort of fulfilling his fantasy, maybe, of becoming friends with the bears. I don't think, but I don't know if what he was doing really qualified as research. Um, but he would go to Alaska and, I think, Alaska, and just watch bears and try and learn about them and sort of try and become their friend, and he decided to go, um, one year during the fall when the bears were more aggressive because they were getting their bodies ready, <laughs> getting their bodies ready, 
but they were getting their bodies ready. They they were getting ready to go into hibernation, so they were a lot more territorial and a lot more. Um, that they were looking for as much food as possible before they were going to sleep. Um, oh, I should have, I should have started it one block in, I think. That looks weird, right? I think I should move it in one, what do you guys think? I think I should move it in one, okay, okay. Um. I think that looks a lot better. Or I can just leave it like that, actually. Let me look back here. But so he went during the fall, which is when the bears get a lot more aggressive. Um, and he set up his camp right in the middle of a sort of a, a bear walking path. Um, and basically did a bunch of things that, you know, if you were really thinking about it, you'd be like, hmm, probably shouldn't do this, but he did all of them. And, uh, he and his girlfriend got, um, munchy munchied on by a bear, so did not end well. And I think he, uh, recorded it as well. I guess on accident, maybe, I'm sure he was intentionally recording, but did not intend to uh, get his death on there, but um, so anyways, bears are not your friends, yeah, that looks better, just pull it in one, we don't have as much width, but I think it'll still be okay. I think that looks better. That's alright if it's a little smaller. I'll just do the same thing over here. just have to do the same thing over there. So two, 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 and then four. Has anyone ever been hiking in bear country? So now you're supposed to bring a, uh, a bear whistle, right? So they know that you're coming, or did I just make that I swear I've heard that somewhere. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, th that's so aesthetic. Okay. All right. Uh, do the monsters come out when it's snowing? Yes, there's an Enderman. So I need to run back to the village, I think. Look at him. We by Enderman. Running back to the village. It's snowing outside. Man, it's been you know I've never actually seen the actual light again. Oh my goodness. I've never seen snow like this in real life. Really heavy, deep packed snow. So, it's kind of on a bucket list to go somewhere truly in the north. Oh, that's so pretty. No, snow, come back. Come back, snow. That was so pretty for a second.
Yeah, I don't know what effect. Um, okay, that's pretty easy. I don't know what effect the... Oh, it's already gone. Okay. The, was it husk? Um, put on me. I think it was a movement. Slowing of movement effect. So, it looks like I'm going, or not looks like, I definitely am going, that guy was really fast, What's up with that, um, I'm going to need some more locks soon. Oh, I have to get that. Okay. Can't just leave it. Alright. Okay, okay. Let's finish this up here. So two. to think of. Uh, I think we like it when I talk about random things while I record the long play video, so I'm trying to think of other topics. That would be interesting. I know I, I just posted the, um, the ghost, <laughs> the ghost poll today asking who believes in ghosts. And that's been interesting so far. I wish there were more personal stories. Okay, I am back once again. I do not know why, but Audacity decided that it was going to suddenly stop <laughs> recording on me there. So I am back once again. I think you guys only missed about a minute um, or two, so it's okay. You're still all caught up. Everything's everything's good. Anyways, it's so funny because when I sat down to record this, you know, I was like, um, I'm just I'm gonna do it, you know, all at once. I'll, it'll be really easy. I'll just have to match the audio afterwards, and then I can send it on its way. But, you know, fate has decided that that is not going to be the case. And I am, once again, going to have technical difficulties while filming the Minecraft video. So, it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle, but it sure is annoying. So anyway, I was just clearing out the dirt, talking about the ghost poll. Maybe the ghosts stopped the recording. I, I had just said, you know, I haven't had a ghost experience of my own, but maybe that was it right there. A ghost stopped the audacity recording, said, girl, you don't need to be recording right now. Um, go to sleep. It's one o'clock. And, you know, ghost, I'm gonna have to tell you here, I, I need to record the video. People 
people want the Minecraft video and I want the people to be happy and to have good dreams. So I need to make the video. It's, it's what is required. So the ghost is just gonna have to sit there and watch me build this house. It is what it is. If, if they want any input on the house, they can knock something over in the background. Apparently not. Okay. They're lost. Anyways, and I'd also mentioned how I have been seeing this um, Catholic priest pop up. Now I'm getting a little paranoid. Pop up on podcasts talking about exorcisms. Um, maybe I should stop talking about that and not jinx it. Okay, let's do that. Uh, anyways. Uh, has anybody seen that video that somebody took from a train of a supposed Bigfoot. Yes, I know it's fake. I know it's fake. If you didn't know, it's fake. Uh, apparently they're on some type of uh, Sasquatch train expedition where the owner dresses up as a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot outside and people get very excited, so. Would I go on this train? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. I, I would go on the Bigfoot train, 100%. I would go. starting to hurt because I'm leaning forward into the microphone so I can get some crispy, crispy ASMR audio. But it hurts my back a little bit. We have our floor hollowed out here, and what should the floor be? Probably just spruce planks, right? That sort of makes the most sense. Um, We definitely don't have enough to fill out the whole floor. So, and I think we should work on the outside. And eventually I'll need to go and harvest things again to get more food. But I'm also thinking like a multi-story silo looking thing, sort of like this, but um, flipped 90 degrees where each floor is another little farming um, level. I think in the walls again would be all glass. I think that would be cool. Um, but we can go ahead. Actually, this glass did it again. Um, 
I'm so sorry. We need to go get coal to burn the glass. I, I really am trying to work on not saying filler words, both when I record, when I stream, when I do all of the speaking things. I watched a video that said if you say um and fill words like that, you it means you are uncomfortable with your silence. So I'm trying to be more comfortable and confident with my silence. So many things come back to confidence and being confident about yourself and your appearance and your presence. So many things. Um, really, I don't know, it's all, all my fellow shy slash introverts out there. We're, we're living on hard mode, so I think a lot of things um, are easier if you you are naturally extroverted. I always say when I have a kid, I I hope I hope that they are good at math and that they are extroverted because I I think both of those things gives you such an advantage. I am neither. If you're curious, I when I was younger, I was okay at math, and then I don't know what happened. I, I, I think I, I don't know, maybe I met somebody who was like actually good at math. Actually, again. Oh my gosh. So, the sixth time. Um, but I, I don't know what happened. I just went downhill so fast one day. <laughs> I'm not not good at math. Once once the, the letters started popping up, I started not being good at math. And it's funny because things that I remember used to, that was not ready, was it? Rip. Um, things that used to be so hard. Like I, was that not ready either? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just not gonna touch them. I remember being in sixth grade, I think, and learning how to divide fractions. And I remember, yeah, I remember that I just couldn't get it. But now when I look back at it, it's like, there was like one step. How did I not get it? You just flipped the fraction. How did I, how was that not 100%? But, um, I think that was when I really started to feel like I was not very good at math. I, I think at a certain point, the people who are naturally, their brain just functions in the way that lets them be better at math. I, I, I think once those people start to leave, they get all the really good teachers and the people who aren't as good at math don't get the better teachers, so we just continually, like, get worse and worse. We need, we need more good math teachers. Uh, I find that people who are naturally good at math are sometimes not very good at teaching it to people who aren't very good because they don't understand the gaps that need to be bridged in the understanding because they've just always naturally gotten it. So I think that's why it's hard for people who aren't naturally good at math to be good. It's because there's not a whole lot of people that are good at teaching it to people who don't naturally get it. <laughs> anyway. God bless you, if you can do math. We, we need you guys, for sure.
how are we doing? Were we cooking sand? I think we were cooking sand. Cooking sand. Cooking sand. it all in there. We also just need to mass harvest some spruce. So we need to get some more sticks. Yeah. So I can make some more tree cutting utensils. I hope that you couldn't hear that, but I think you could. I, I don't think I'm going to remember to edit it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to go down there. Stuff. So things don't spawn. Okay, good enough. All right, because we did need some more of this, or we will eventually need more. Need some of that too. I'm really, I'm trying not to get jump scared. Because this is supposed to be, you know, ASMR, very relaxing. Oh. So, I'm gonna try to keep it together for everyone here. Okay. Oh. Some more down here, right? We don't need copper. Man. I hate copper. I wish they never brought it in the game. I just feel like it's so pointless. Oh, I hear people. Be there below. More iron, too. I think this is iron. It's hard to tell in this. Yeah, okay. Hard to tell in this texture pack. It's the first time I've seen it. really hear them now. Oh, there we go. Yep, hello. All right, um, well, we'll, we'll just, I wonder if there's a spawner down there. I'm gonna go back up because I don't have any torches. So this is probably a bad idea. Okay. Just like block that off. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's mm. Oh, I 
here's an iron pickaxe. Okay, we don't need to use that. I'm just gonna call it. Go back up. <laughs> I thought those were diamonds for a second. I got so excited. I'm like 20 blocks below the ground. <laughs> Is this coal? I thought this was iron. What's coal? It's the only reason I got the iron pickaxe out. Right. And I like this shaders a lot better than the other one. It's a little bit bright with all the snow out here, but it's, it's definitely it's a lot easier to see, which is important. In video games. Um, so that sand just looks like crack. Sand. Sand. Alright. We have the glass. So I think we can go ahead and turn this into panes for the there you go. For the front of the house. So if you guys have just been rolling with it and haven't actually, sorry, been able to um, conceptualize my vision. This is what we're going to do. We are going to put glass all through the front. So when you're inside, you can still see all this beautiful natural area. Um, but we are, I'm, I'm leaving a frame for the door because I don't think the glass look, looks uh, very, uh, very nice in the door. Oh. I think I just dropped the glass on the ground and I can't see it because it's transparent. Yeah, that's not gonna look good with the... So we'll have a little frame, probably of just the logs. Um, yep. If you have any ideas for the house, leave them in the comments because I am not a very good builder, and I admit it, and I'm not ashamed, and you guys probably have better ideas than I do, so feel free to, you know, leave them down below, and I'll look and uh, make adjustments. Okay, so really, I just, I need to go get logs. That's what I really need to do. So let's go do that. Let's, let's take out this guy right here. Like there are many, many trees over here. Right. Oh, the sun's setting again. Okay, scratch that. I need to go get the bed and bring it with me so I'm not having to worry about monsters. While I'm in this forest. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. It's night. It's night. It's night. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Okay. So, if I die, I'm a little screwed, but it's fine, it's fine. You know, this, this is an ASMR world. We're calm. We're, oh my gosh. 
it looks like um, I'm gonna get flamed for not knowing what the name is. The uh, the um, the the SpongeBob Krabby Patty Crab Shack. Is it just called the Krabby Patty? The place where he works. Oh goodness! Don't go easy on me. Go easy on me. <laughs> the Crab Shack. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, we've made it to the forest. We are just going to get uh, these trees until that happens with these other two axes. Maybe we can get some food over here too. Beautiful pixelated sky. Would you um would you guys also like like a uh, following a Bob Ross tutorial? It's like ASMR on top of ASMR, ASMR squared. I don't know, I feel like that's very overdone. to sporadically chop down the trees so the forest is still pretty. Really, this is actually how you manage a real forest. A little. Make a pretty thumbnail. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there. Okay. Y'all yeah, remember to come back and grab that later. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, right? It's the sun coming in. All these trees. There's a sheep right there. Looks great. Oh, I am craving mac and cheese. What, uh, what, what brand of mac and cheese do we believe is, is the best? I, I, th I think I'm gonna have to go with Kraft mac and cheese at the moment. If you have any, anything you think is better, feel free to let me know, but I, th I think it's Kraft. Before Kraft, you know, um, Horizon, the organic brand, used to make a mac and cheese. That was very, very good. But they actually... But they discontinued the mac and cheese. So that was the best. Um, but now I think it's Kraft. I just... I've tried Annie's. Annie's just isn't good. It's... I almost want to say it tastes more salty than... The Kraft mac and cheese, but you'd think that wouldn't really make sense because Annie's is the healthy um, organic brand. So you think it maybe it just tastes more authentically cheddar y and sharp, and that's why I think it tastes more salty. But Annie's is not good. I had one of the, the microwavable cups. Um, Annie's mac and cheese, just the plain cheddar. It was, it was so gross. It was so gross. It was so gross. Like you think mac and cheese couldn't be gross and it didn't cook. 
all the way through in the microwave, there was like a clump of uncooked pasta noodles that was just hard and oh, it was so gross. It was not very cash. It was not good. It was just not good. Um, but the the craft cups are good. And you know, craft also, I don't know if they were the first ones that did this, but they came out with the portion size that's not as big as the box that feeds like four people, but not as small as the cups. They came out with one in the middle, which is, sorry, microphone, which is perfect. Perfect size. Tastes good. It's great. Because the box, the, I've, I've had some days before where I've thrown down a whole box of Kraft mac and cheese. And let me tell you, if, if you need to gain weight, eat two to three of those boxes a week and it'll happen. <laughs> drink, uh, drink chocolate milk and eat three boxes of Kraft mac and cheese a week and you'll put on a few pounds and not have a good time. <laughs> Gaslight yourself into thinking you're going crazy. Then if you get on the stationary bike, you'll convert those pounds into muscle. I am a, I am a big proponent of the stationary bike because it's low impact. It's easy. I, uh, sadly, I'm actually, it's like the 10th time. I am embarrassed to admit that I am not a very good biker. I cannot bike very well. I don't have very good balance, but with a stationary bike, it doesn't matter because it's stationary and you can get a little hole up. If the stationary bike you have doesn't have one of these, you can get a stand for your iPad or your phone and watch things on the stationary bike. So. But I always tell people, you know, this, the stationary bike expert that I am, I tell people that, you know, we all watch random crap every day. Why not watch it while you're on the stationary bike and you're getting two things done at once? Um, and the only, there is a period of time where the seat hurts. Um, I don't know if, if you're a male and build different. I don't know if you have that period, but, um, if you're female, you, you do go through a little period where it hurts to sit, but after that period is gone, it feels fine. And then once you've been biking for a while, it's actually I'm so sorry. I promise I'm trying to work on it. It's, you get to a point where really it's more comfortable to stand on the stationary bike. And once you start standing, I think you not only start really working your thighs, but you start working your core a little bit more as well. And you start building more muscles and what I, I want to try to do, try, I haven't been able to bike for a few weeks because of reasons, um, but I want to try, I think this is a bad idea, so probably don't do this, uh, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep, I want to try holding a small, like, dumbbell weight in one hand and, like, holding on with the other and like 
just lift the dumbbell for half the time that I bike and then switch to the other hand and lift. So I'm also working my arms as well as my legs and core and everything else all at the same time. And then everything will be getting a workout. So whenever I get back into biking, I think I'm going to try that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's probably bad for you and you shouldn't do that. So I'm not at all saying, uh, listen to me, do it. I have all the answers. Um, I I'm saying don't listen to me. I have none of the answers. <laughs> if, if you ever hear somebody tell you that they have all the answers, that is a red flag and that person is lying. Because nobody has all of the answers. Nobody. It'd be a lot easier if somebody had all the answers. gonna leave some of the animals so that if I need to bring some back to my base and breed them for food and other useful materials, they'll be here. And I think I've got a lot of logs. Yeah, there are pumpkins everywhere. I, I thought pumpkins used to be a lot rarer than I guess apparently they are. Oh, you know what would have been cool? If I were to do like a, a, a cross almost on the bottom and then have another level in the middle coming up from the uh, center. Maybe I can do that actually. I don't know. I think I could actually pull that off. I might have to extend this. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on this front part first. Before I get too caught up here. I didn't, I need, I needed it once. Um. All right, let's go ahead and build these. So we want up and then across. And then down. So, just like that. Really, I think that looks pretty great with the texture, with the texture pack. only get them in 16. Okay. Where's my little chest? Okay, there it is. Let's drop all that off. Okay. Right. And write a glass again. Okay, so this should see us through the rest of this. 
Is there a pain right here? I can't even tell. Is there? I think there is. Okay. So we're good, right? So there's the front. Very nice. And then we have our metal. It's going to be all spruce plank. Um... I'm gonna replace go ahead and replace that I'll just do a cobblestone yeah it looks good okay. cobblestone nice like it all right um yeah okay I was thinking cobblestone floor for a second looks kind of nice but um I think the spruce plank is is just what it needs to be it's down here um can we make it I guess it doesn't matter which uh which way it goes all right we'll just start right there Yay! Building is a lot more fun than destroying. It's a pretty good life lesson. Building efficiently is even better. <laughs> You know, I might regret that later, but we did it. It's done. Making everyone mad by the way I'm filling this in. Oh. I think so. I think I'm making everyone mad. So that needed, that was about two and a half stacks for the full floor. And I think I have, yep, perfect. I think that's fate telling me to half slab it right there. See, that looks gorgeous, looks gorgeous, okay. All right, so crap, I'm gonna have to replace all this. Uh, probably with cobblestone. I think that makes more sense. Yeah. That looks good. Looks good. Oh, we got a glitcher. Then okay. I don't think these matter because those will be a lot of full blocks on top of them. But we can go ahead and replace this. Because this will just be all glass back here. Oh, dang. Okay, did I, did I have any more cobble? No, I don't. Okay, I'll have to go and get some. <laughs> Alright. So, and I used all of the glass. I guess I don't see it, but apparently it hides. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and put that down. Oh. Alright. So, oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. I kind of wish I'd flipped it. 
fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. All right. So, what next? Um... So we need to start building the sides, right? This, I'm gonna need a lot more spruce, I think. Um, so we should start up, right? Not sideways. Where you know? Maybe I should do sideways, actually. A little bit makes a little bit more sense almost like it's a log cabin. Oh, big stretch! Yay! Oh, if only we were rich and we could actually have a house like this. Thumbs up if you're rich and have a house with big windows. Some people really do be living like that every day. That's crazy. All right. And then, uh, about that. Does that just look dumb? Yeah, that just looks dumb. Okay. I think we need to go full sideways. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, no. side let's do the other side so we can be sort of secure in here oh I am gonna have to fill that okay that's fine oh I just went all over the place There we go, that's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. okay. And then give me some dirt. We could fill that in and then we'd be pretty safe in here, but that's okay. So this is the vision. What are we thinking? Um, we could also... Fortunately, I think I made this a square. I was gonna say... Was I too far away? I said, unfortunately, I think I made this a square. So we couldn't just put that, like, sort of cross it. Um, unless I made, like, do another side with the window over here and push it, um, farther out a little bit, unless I made it a lot smaller, but I think that would take away from the aesthetic we got going on here, because I'm thinking of having fire all along this back wall. That's probably going to this on fire though, isn't it? I probably can't do that then. I bet I can think of a way. Maybe if I had fire right here. I could. Or if I just did it on one side. So if I just pushed one side out and did a fireplace on the opposite side 
probably push this side out, so I would have to terraform a little bit less. So if I push that side out, I could make a long glass hallway. That might look kind of cool. Okay, long glass hallway. I'd have enough room for a second story. Um, sort of starting the middle right here, paper right there. Then I could do a fireplace on this side and not have to worry about room. What I'm going to put in this huge house, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's one, it's one thirty-five, my friends, um, and I'm kind of at a stopping point. I think I might have to call it. <laughs> no, I'm pretty excited about this house. Thankfully, next time when I make a part three, it'll be a little bit more evident what I've got sort of going on here. Um, but I think I am gonna have to call it for tonight. Uh, so, thank you guys for tuning in, watching, listening, um, however you've chosen to consume this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope it's brought you some peace and some comfort just listening to me talk about random things. Um, leave any input in the comments. Uh, check out part one. Tell me if you want a part three. And I'll see you real soon. Good night. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Minecraft ASMR playthrough. Everyone keeps commenting on part two, asking for part three. So here it is. I hope you enjoy. And if you like gaming in general, I also have started a gaming channel. It is fresh. It is new. It is where the live streams have gone. If you are wondering why those aren't popping up anymore, um, they are now on that channel. So if you want to be a part of um, that growth, go ahead and head over there. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Every time I come back to this world, because I don't play it very often, I have to sort of remember what I was in the middle of here. And I think, I remember I was building a, yep, there it is, way out there, a beautiful little house on a hill, I believe. And I have some meat in my inventory, spruce logs, spruce planks, all the good stuff it looks like. Let me go, let me go take a look at that house over there and let's go see the progress that we've made so far. Oh, this world is also, it's very, very bright. Snow is so bright. And I believe I've left details for all of the the shaders and texture pack. I believe I've left details about those in previous videos. So if you're interested in trying to get that in your own Minecraft world, it should be, if I don't link it in this video, it's linked on previous videos. So it looks like we've started, we've got some glass. I'm, oh, we got some glass right here too. I'm assuming that we were putting some glass in the windows here. So we'll go ahead and continue that. I mean, it looks like we can sort of set up a little base here. That bed is so pretty. Beautiful blue oceany color. Okay, so you can go ahead and sort of set up a base here, I think. And it also looks like I was replacing this with some cobblestone. So maybe we should go ahead and move all of our resources over to this house to make building a little bit easier. 
for us. I know we have several caves and tunnels, I believe, that we've mined in beneath us. You know, I think it would also look really pretty if we built a greenhouse. I also, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, okay, this looks like my stuff. <laughs> oh, got it all. Which place is mine? So I know there was stuff in that house. Is that the only house, do we think? I don't know, we can always come back and check. Alright, let's go ahead and move some more stuff over here. I wish that it would snow where I currently live. It's been so long since I've seen snow. And I've never seen snow, I think, that's above two feet, I think. I've never seen real snow. So that would, that would be super cool. I know I've heard from people who live, okay, that's iron, in snowy areas that really snow um, is really quite frustrating <laughs> and not fun at all to deal with. Once, when it, when it really starts coming down and piling up um, and sticks around for months on end, but all snow that I've ever seen has quickly, very, very quickly melted away. Yep, it's kind of sad. So I wonder what real snow looks like. So that I guess that technically means that I've never really felt real cold either. Oh, I just took a little bit of damage there. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine in our beautiful Minecraft world. You know, I think also it might be on peaceful mode. Whenever I do the thumbnail, yeah, we want it to be easy, We're taking it chill. But we want those monsters. Whenever I do the thumbnail, I change it. So I don't have to worry about getting attacked or anything like that. Alrighty. So we've grabbed everything, I believe, from our base. I think we were also trying to make a little farm over there, but it wasn't really going that well. Or they were growing very, very slowly, I want to say. So maybe after we take a little nap, nappy nap in the bed, we'll go back over there and check that out. Hello, cow. Oh, you look so cute so cute. I feel like I've changed the texture pack since, oh, this guy looks so cool, since last time I've played. Also, I hope this lighting is very, uh, very nice and calming. I wasn't sure whether to go with the really, really bright lights or to go for something a little bit, um, uh, you know, chill vibes. I don't know, it's so cringe. Every time I say vibe, I, like, cringe a little inside. But it's, it's, it's made its way into common vernacular, so there's nothing I can really do about it. Alright, let's go look at any farm that we had going. I really think a greenhouse would just look beautiful. So, we might uh, make one of those. Make one of those. I need to remember not to absolutely pound on these keyboard keys. I'm used to playing Elden Ring where you got to be quick, and it'll really 100% intention and all of your actions. 
So, gotta remember, this is Minecraft. Relaxing Minecraft. Yep, there it is. On easy mode. We're just having a good time. Oh, okay. So, we have, we also have a little pasture. And I really wish I had not made this here. I wish I had made it over there. I think that would have been better. Um, but it is what it is. If, if we need to destroy it, we can. This igloo is so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the farm that we have going. It's a pretty good farm. We've got some pumpkins, got some wheat. Uh, this looks full grown. But I don't think it was. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we've got some potatoes, some really good things growing here. So this is definitely a good starting point for us. But I think a greenhouse would be a, a lot cuter. We also need to, we'll probably need to make another infinite water source over here as well. Also do that. Lots of things to do today. Lots of things to do today. I've considered um the next time that you know if I make a part four, if you if you like it uh, and all that. If I do make a part four, I've considered maybe I could try and download a uh, adventure map, maybe, or a more um, exploration map. I think that would be really fun, and we could do that for part four instead of continuing to sort of build up this world. If you guys want it, just let me know. Let me know. All right. See, and I think I probably ran out of cobblestone, right? Yeah, I ran out of cobblestone, all right. Well, that's okay. We'll just go mining a little. We can go ahead and do that right now. Well, maybe I should make sure that I have enough food. Let me see here. Okay, two cooked pork chops and baked potatoes. Oh, this is making me hungry. Ah, oh, baked potatoes. A lot of pumpkins. And we have sugar. Do we have eggs? I'm not seeing any eggs. Alright, so we can't make pumpkin pie. Which is a little sad, but eggs aren't, shouldn't be super hard to get. See, we could put, oh, my mouse disconnected. Come on, mouse. There we go. We could put a pretty pasture right here, I think. We could almost, we could connect it into the glass. Have it swing around, sort of. Oh, got a big thing of lag there. Have all of this be pasture, and then we could make a little pass to the greenhouse, which could maybe, oh, come on, Mac, which could maybe be in this area. And there's some lava over there. That's good. That means we can uh, make it to the nether pretty easily if need be. Okay. I think I'll be okay on food, especially if I'm just sort of staying in one place. Goodness, why am I lagging so much? I might have to turn my render distance down just a little bit. All right, should we continue? mining in this cave or should we start a strip mine maybe it's probably be better to just continue mining in this cave i don't know i guess we just need cobblestone for the time being 
we don't really need a whole lot of other stuff. I can just mine right here, I think. And it'll be fine. I'm also going to be taking some sips of water during the playthrough because my throat has been sore for about a week. I think because of allergies. I hope because of allergies because I'm not going to the doctor. So, and talking definitely makes it hurt a little bit more. So, especially when I'm trying to do this very soft volume. My throat gets very, it's very constricted and it hurts just a little bit. Usually it'd be fine, but really I should try to relax my throat and not tense up quite as much, but the register gets a lot lower when I try and do that sound like a video game boss old lady woman. Maybe it sounds good, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot easier to be up here than to be down here. Okay, get our shovel out. We'll go ahead and replace this. And replace this with our cobblestone. Okay, there we go. And now I believe we need to find more sand so we can make more glass. We can go ahead and fill in that window and then we'll probably have to mine more wood as well and we'll continue doing the roof. You know what we could do? We could get... I don't know. I don't think that would look as good. I think w we could get a large amount of glass and we could make the whole roof glass, but I think it would look better if we just did a small section of glass. So I want to be able to have some sort of light fixture hanging from the roof. I think... But uh, anyways, I might go ahead and sleep. Looks very aesthetic. Okay. So we'll go and we will acquire the sand and the wood. Once the sun goes down all the way. So I'm pretty sure it's setting and not rising. I think so. Wait for the sun. This is very aesthetic. It's very aesthetic. Okay, it's definitely setting. Just have to wait a little bit longer. Is there any sand we can get while we're waiting? We can get this tree. Perfect. Tree acquired. Go back and go to sleep now. Okay, new day. Let's go ahead and get on with it. I'm 
not really sure where the best place to find sand would be, but I definitely see trees over there. So, I guess we'll go and we'll get some logs first and hopefully we'll run into sand. Probably we'll find some sort of water source. Oh, it's a polar. Y'all, polar bears make me feel so sad. Like, there, there's no way we're gonna save them. Right? There's, like, no way. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. One day they'll just be gone. Okay. Probably find some sand over here. The ice looks super cool. Okay, come on. There's, There's gotta be sand. Or squid. It's just stuck down there. Oh, there's some sand. We also have the beautiful ice spikes biome. Love to see it. Anyway, I, I sadly don't think we're going to be able to save the polar bears. They make me very sad because they are well, the crap. Because uh, well, they are so cool. Um, and I believe they're the largest land carnivore on the planet. But I just don't see a world where the world comes together enough to be able to save the polar bears, unfortunately. And it just, do you think they, it makes me sad thinking about how, do you, do you think they're confused? The ones that, um, are born and live closer to, or further south, if, if they're confused as to why, like, why, why am I white? I'm, there's not a whole lot of snow. Why am, why am I built like this? My environment, it doesn't seem like it was made for me. Why am I like this? Why, why are none of my adaptations working? Um, and for some reason that just makes me really sad. Um, that they're, they're just confused on why things are the way that they are. I should probably try and not be sad. Y'all are trying to fall asleep here, but they're super cool. Okay, shovel. It's not a shovel. Cobblestone. Where's some sticks? Okay. Everything looks very odd in the texture pack. Go ahead and make two shovels because those things go super duper quickly. back over this way. Okay, what's, what's, what's something happy we can talk about that's not, that doesn't relate at all to climate change? Um, oh, I need to eat. Oh, the, uh, I'm actually, I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. I'm not sure if it's going to be this week's video or next week's video, but I know it's coming soon. The, uh, the eclipse is coming soon that you can see in North America. So 
that's pretty exciting. I, uh, I was reading how, you know, how improbable it is that the moon and the sun are positioned in such a way that they are almost the exact same size in the sky. And I also read a comment said it's also really weird that Earth only has one moon. Excuse me, I burped a little bit. Hopefully you guys couldn't hear that. So Earth astrology is so fascinating. I went through a, a phase when I was a child where I was really into astrology stuff. But I'm kind of glad that I grew out of it. Because I don't think I ever would have been smart enough oh here's all the water to uh take those kind of classes in high school and college because i am not good at math i yeah i'm not good at math i'm not one of the people that i am bo i was born with the ability to innately understand math you know we we all know somebody like that they, it just clicks for them but math just doesn't click click for me it just doesn't I, I don't get it I do not get it and I really think I don't know I, I, I think math in challenging your brain is important to building neurons and educating yourself but I, I think people don't I think we need to redo the education system and rethink how much math the average person really needs to be taught in high school and if that time can be better used. Because the majority of people barely struggle to barely learn any math and then the math that they've learned they're just never going to use. Um, so it's kind of a waste of time, whereas I'm sure, you know, they have other skills that can be fostered and looked at and nurtured, you know? I, f I feel like we just waste so much time in, uh, in education, not really learning a whole lot of useful things. Uh, and I really think... Um, it's almost a conspiracy that the average person isn't taught a whole lot about financial things um, when they're in high school. Because I, 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 th I think really the track should split. And if you're good at math, you can continue to learn pre-cal and calculus and all of that. But if you're bad, I think you would be better served learning math through a financial lens that you will eventually use and you use to your benefit instead of making people suffer through pre-cal. I think that's ridiculous. Um... But I, I definitely think somebody, I'm already 2% convinced that it's a conspiracy, that the average person doesn't learn this or doesn't learn about like banking and balancing a budget and types of investments and stuff like that. Um, so somebody could probably convince me 100% that that's that that's a conspiracy, that that isn't taught to people. Because I think a lot of people are taken advantage of by the system because they don't, you know, know stuff. And all, and all they have to do to not get taken advantage of is know stuff. And it's not that hard to know stuff, but if you don't know what you don't know. Anyways, I guess that's not necessarily a whole lot happier than polar bears, uh, going extinct, but anyways, uh, Daisy has a play date tomorrow, the, the channel mascot, 
And I really hope it goes okay. I really hope it goes okay. Man, if you ever if you ever want a test run, uh having kids, get get a puppy. Because I have never been so stressed out about things than things that pertain to Daisy and her quality of life. Oh, it's snowing. Ah, that's so cute. I wonder when the next time I'm going to see snow is. ideas for our dad and and this is one of the hardest things to do as an adult is come up with birthday presents for your parents it's hard it's hard because you care so much but you feel like besides having grandkids there's not a whole lot you could give them so if, if you were my mom or my dad um, and you happen to be watching this far into the video, which I don't think that they do, but if they are, stop watching because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, dish out the genius birthday idea that I came up with for my dad. And some people might think it's really dumb, but I thought it was very clever. Um, so for my dad's birthday, his, his birthday is very close to Father's Day, <laughs> So what I think we're going to do is we're going to get him a pair of shoes, but, but we are only going to give him one shoe for his birthday and then he'll get the other shoe in a, in a few months for Father's Day. And both times we're going to put a, a gift card in the shoe. So he still, you know, get something he can use right then. But so he gets something tangible. He also gets a gift card and he also gets a laugh and is like, wow, I birthed such creative and intelligent children. Everybody's happy, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's our genius idea. Actually, I'm not going to make that other piece. I'm going to start with these. So, uh, yeah, if any of you guys would like to copy my idea, go ahead and feel free. You don't have to give me credit. I won't copyright strike you or anything. So, bust up to your parents' house. This is my idea they stole from me. Give me the credit. Oh, crap. I, I, I find... I've, I've really... There, there's nothing like having a really, really good present idea for somebody and pulling it off. It's very, very satisfying. Again, everybody comes out happy. My, uh... I'm by no means an expert gift giver, but I've given some pretty good gifts. Um, and if I had to offer advice, it would be, I cannot see a single thing. Okay. It would be to have a note on, again, have a note on your phone on your iPhone, and on that note, on your iPhone, make a list of everybody you will be 
get getting gifts for throughout the year. It's probably about five people if you're over the age of 22. And in that note, write their name. By their name, write their birthday, just in case you second guess yourself. And write the year, too, because sometimes you need to know that for various things that crop up in life. Write the year. And then under that, through now this is the most important part, throughout the year, be a good listener. I just burped again. I'm drinking water. Why am I burping? Throughout the year, be a good listener. And I can almost guarantee you, if, if you do this and you are a good listener and you listen, to things that they say they like throughout the year. You'll have at least one idea. One idea. Like some, some people for Christmas, I already know what I'm getting them. Because I've listened and they've said, oh, I really like that. And I put it in the note on my phone. Gift ideas. And it says, get them this. They said they wanted this. Back in... January. They'll be really impressed too. They'll be like, wow, you remember that? You must really listen. You'll be like, yeah, I do really listen, don't I? <laughs> Anyways, that is that is my gift giving advice. Oh, I hate I hate articles. Look, I'm one of those people where gift giving things that you know they aren't really gonna use really bothers me because money, money's important to everybody, right? Um, and sometimes for Christmas, I just want to be like, look, my gift to you is that you don't have to get me a gift. No stress. This is my gift this year. Just don't worry about it. Um, so whenever, whenever I, I really try and I want to give people good gifts, you know, not, not just you know, something off the discount rack or, you know, things like that. So I, I you know, really put a lot of thought into gifts and those articles. Like if you look up on Pinterest or Google, Father's Day gift ideas, it's all, it's all crap. It's all crap. very hard to find realistic good gift ideas and especially for guys for women because a lot of a lot of things are marketed towards women um it's a little bit easier like if, if you have a woman in your life here are some good woman gift ideas okay especially if you're a guy listen up all 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 100 of you <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm dropping the big stuff. Uh, if you have a woman, here are some things she might like. Here are some good gift ideas. If she's like me, I guess. Um, a silk pillowcase. They say that's really good for your hair. Really good for your skin. It's something that everybody uses. You have to think about the things that everybody uses. And then if you build, if, if you build on those things, then you'll eventually get to a good gift. Everybody uses a pillowcase. So we can elevate that into something a little bit more luxurious. Satin pillowcase. Okay. You can also, you can make the same argument for a blanket. Everybody uses blankets. You know, you can never really have enough blankets, but here's where it turns into a good gift. I've also gotten this for people before and they loved it. You go to Shutterfly, okay? Things are always on sale on Shutterfly, especially around holidays. Go to Shutterfly and you get a blanket with pictures on it. Then it's personal. It's personal. You thought about you know, if 
you didn't take my gift idea get my my iphone note gift idea go to shutterfly lots of great options you gotta make it personal you can't you can't just get you know the mug that says number one whatever right you gotta make it a little bit more personal than that what's something else or you know you know if you're a guy i, I said girls are the most sort of marketed group of people but that doesn't mean you have to buy them something you know what you could also do that i'm sure I, even if, you, if you're a girl too looking for something to get a guy this is also a good idea you know make them make them a meal that they really enjoy buy them flowers put the flowers in the center of the table handcraft a meal that they enjoy then take them out for their favorite dessert go get them some ice cream quality time together you know, they can tell you put effort into what you were doing. It's personal because it's one of their favorite meals. Great gift idea. Great gift idea. I'm, I'm really throwing the big ones out there, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm dishing out the secrets. What else? I feel like I need to give more, uh, more gift for girl ideas oh if they uh, if they're planning a trip to somewhere now or it could be a long time in the future get them a travel guide get them a travel guide I've I've gone on many trips and, I, and you play in trips far in advance. And I've been shocked. Nobody's ever gotten me a travel guide for those trips. You know? Or if they, if they like, if they want to go to a certain place, get them a book about it. It doesn't even have to be one of the, uh, you know, token yellow travel guides. They make some, I was at Barnes & Noble. I love that place. I love that place so much. I could spend hours in that place I could spend hours and thousands of dollars and not just because everything is marked up in there but they have some beautiful books about places and they're not necessarily travel guides they're uh, beautiful let's get them a book like that if they have um if they have hobbies you don't have to necessarily get them a something that will aid in their hobby because they probably have preferences about specific things that they want for their hobby, but you can get them a book about their hobby. You could get them a t-shirt about their hobby. Hmm. Always a, a good t-shirt always always loved I love a good t-shirt about my hobbies because you know I might not wear a whole lot of you know I, I have an Animal Crossing t-shirt am I gonna wear that in public all the time no not necessarily but am I gonna wear that to sleep because it's when I sleep at all, all I worry about is how soft it is yeah of course uh, multiple times a week I'm, I'm gonna wear that at home while I'm chilling out it's a great gift if it's soft Etsy's a good place for that you can get a bunch of stuff like that on Etsy a Etsy I, I know apparently they're having an influx of um AI art on Etsy that's causing some problems to the creators there but they have a lot of, uh, of really great t-shirt options and, and I will, and, and while, while you're browsing on Etsy, you can get a lot of other really good ideas. Sometimes. Uh, excuse me again with the burps. Why am I burping? I know, um, what was I about to say? Oh, that 
the AI art trend doesn't permeate to the 3D objects as much. It probably, it, the drop shipping stuff probably is an issue. But if you're looking to get things customized and add that personal touch to stuff, Etsy's really good. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying this like Etsy is some new thing that hasn't been around for 10 years. Anyways, there's some other really good gift ideas. Now, if you're thinking about getting skincare, don't do that for your girl. That's a little too personal. Now, if she mentions that she's running out of something, that's a good gift. That's a good gift. But otherwise, be careful because skincare is very specific. Now you can get her a, maybe a special face mask, something special that's one-time use. That would be a good gift, but things that you use every day, be careful with that. Um, but now makeup. If you want to get her makeup, uh, whenever, I guess if you live together, when a girl's not home, go in the bathroom and look at her makeup drawer and look at the brands, the brand of the brand and the colors of her most used eyeshadow palette. And then you can get her an eyeshadow palette from that same brand. And you can either get her different colors, so you're, you know, not, she doesn't have a double, or if she's running out of certain shades. You can use that for what color colors you're looking for in whatever palette. And that's a good gift. Personal. Again, personal. You listen to her. You, you watch her. You notice her habits. It's a great gift. I need to put cobblestone right here, too. It's a good gift. Let's see. What else can we think of? probably need to figure out my food. I'll just eat some baked potatoes. That'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I have more logs. What? I didn't know that. Okay. Cobblestone. Go ahead and replace all of this. See if I can get how much I can get with this one shovel. It's about to break. Probably about half of this one. Oh, or one. There we go. All right. And then I don't know why I ran over here. Like something crazy was gonna happen. Oh, another thing that uh, people are always running out of, I, if, if they don't like scents, that's one thing, and this is a little generic, but a hand soap. You're always using it. You're always running out. You know what I disagree with? I feel like there's a stigma against getting people household products for gifts. But if, you, if you're trying to get something for people that guarantees that they're going to use it, you know, if somebody got, if somebody got me two things of Tide Pods, it's a great gift. I'm going to use it. It's going to be useful. Give it some good wrapping paper. I guess it's not fun, but it's, it's a lot more useful than a lot of gifts that we've been given before, right? So I guess maybe if you could think of a fun way to present that gift, then it would be okay. Maybe you could wrap it with some special wrapping paper. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, we can go ahead, we can continue the roof, but we're going to run out soon, I think. I need to make some stepping stones to get on the roof, I think. But, uh, anyways, so 
listening and observing is a very big part of gift giving. If, if you're finding that you are lacking in your gift giving skills, it means you're lacking uh, in your listening and observing, which again is, well, dang, it's why it's a little hard for parents if, if you don't live with them uh, anymore because you can't be there listening and watching all the time, you know? You know, and a lot of parents, you know, they have everything, right? Or you feel like they have everything and they don't want you to get them stuff. So it's, it's hard to find stuff. It is. It is, it is. But a uh, Shutterfly, Shutterfly's got some great ideas. If you have a lot of photos of that person, it's a great idea. Who doesn't love photos? I love photos. And we're out of blocks. Okay. Anyways, uh, drop some of your favorite gifts that you've given in the uh, in the comments below. We'll all help help each other out. We'll all help each other out. We're, we are all. At the end of the day, we're all on the same team, you know? I need to go get some logs, I think. All on the same team. We gotta remember that. All on the same team, and we all have something that we bring to the table. All have something. We just have to find the task for the tools that we have, right? So experiences are always good gifts. I, I myself particularly, particularly, I really like escape rooms and I wish I had more friends that lived close by so I could do them more often. I have done a lot of them though. Am I, am, you might be wondering, oh, she's done a lot of escape rooms. That probably means she's pretty good at them, right? You would be correct. I'm still not very good at them, but that's okay. And sometimes they make them unnecessarily difficult. And sometimes the, sometimes it's not that the puzzles are hard, but there's so many of them. If you're not immediately getting them, you can't solve them in the time limit. Where am I? Oh, okay, I know where I am. Which I, I think is unfair. I, I went... I went to this one escape room. I was doing it with my family and we barely got, uh, it was at multiple rooms and we barely got past the second room maybe, or maybe we were almost out of the second room and the guy who was leading, leading you through, since people are watching you while you do them to make sure you don't poop somewhere, I guess. Um, and giving you hints and stuff like that. He, he, he took us through the, uh, the rest of the escape room. And he was like, yeah, once you get to the third room, there's approximately 15 more puzzles that you need to solve. And I was like, who is going to be able to do that in an hour? We already solved like 10. And it took us the entire time. And he was like, yeah, this, this escape room has a, about a 1% first time completion rate and I was like y'all are what's the point y'all are ripping people off here it's ridiculous if, if they put that on the website by the room oh yeah 99% of people don't get out there's nothing worse than doing an escape room and not getting out of the escape room it 
stinks. Stinks. Oh, it's all foggy and cute. Okay. It stinks. Um, so they, they, they make them unnecessarily hard sometimes. And I know I'm 100% right in saying that. You can't convince me otherwise. gonna get the bones and the arrows. Oh, I need to eat again. There you go. It's gonna be really hard to see <laughs> where they all are on the, uh, on the snow here. There we go. Alright, so we're going back. And we are continuing to log. I feel like we have enough um, sand, probably, for the time being. But we can go and get some logs. It's, it's a little bit uh, annoying to have to run so far to get materials. I guess I didn't think about that when I uh, started. If you guys would be particularly bothered if I started a, a, a new world after this episode, let me know, and I won't do it. I'll just keep going on this one, but I've been playing Minecraft for so long now, it's, uh, it's hard to keep it fresh, you know? Maybe I should add some mods in or something. I, I really think, I, I think if Minecraft, um bought the the aether mod that you go through with the glowstone portal i think if they bought that and just added it to the game they would see a large influx of older players come back just to play that i don't i would hop on here and play it i think adding adding new worlds all together. They could honestly, they could make another world and just recolor a lot of the biomes that they have now and I would be all for it. All for it. I also wish they would add more structures like villages. So I, I really like finding structures. I think like if they had like massive structures, that would look really cool. I don't know why we went all the way back here. I still don't have that many. <laughs> we'll go this way this time. It'll be a little less far, I think. Go ahead and mine this tree down. Oh wow, we've been going a long time. I barely even noticed it. Oh no. Oh no. How do I get it back? Okay. I refuse to use- every time I use a shield in this game, my entire game glitches. And I get to the point where my left click stops working. And I try and eat things. So, I'm- that's why I don't have a shield. I don't believe in shields. No shields for me. Onto this tree. I really want to get uh, the house done before this episode ends, but I don't know if we're gonna quite get there in time. But I'd really like to. Get a 
few of these trees in here. We can go ahead and get a hole. We can go till this axe. I must have already gotten this one. Uh, this axe breaks and then we can walk back. I wish, um, I wonder if anybody who has ever been on that TV show alone, I wonder if they've ever played Minecraft. And they're like, wow, if only it was so simple. <laughs> if only. Man, that show is wild. The show is wild. And I read, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, Al Alone is a TV show where they take 12 people who have a lot of wilderness survival training and they just drop them somewhere in Canada with a radio if they are dying and whoever lasts the longest wins half a million dollars and um, I think uh, oh there goes my mouse I think I, I read that the people who go on that show sometimes it takes them years to recover from not eating enough. So crazy. The last season that I watched, spoiler alert, if for some reason you're really into the show, <laughs> the last, the, the guy basically used starvation to defeat starvation. It was crazy. And he won. It worked. <laughs> it's like, wow, the, the producers probably hate him because he did nothing entertaining. He, he just slept a lot and drank a lot of water, but he won. Time to eat another potato. All right, we're going back to our house. Going back to our house. Also, if I made all the settings in OBS correct, this should be recorded as, um, separate audio for the mic and the game so I can make sure the game is the volume is perfect and not too loud and it also means I can um, try and get any computer noise out of the microphone which is also which is really good so I worry that you can hear <laughs> my computer um, and I haven't and I can't couldn't use noise canceling on a on the previous videos because I was worried it would cancel some of the Minecraft noises out but if they're on two separate audio tracks then I can go ahead and do that almost got this roof finished. I think we're going to be able to finish it with the logs that we have left. Oh, and I do want to leave some space empty in this top part. Yeah, we should have enough. I have glass blocks. Yes, I have glass blocks. Okay. So I want 
two. Let me finish this side. I want to leave, I think the edges Maybe like that. Okay, if we do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could probably do three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I, I know we have enough glow. As long as we're down here. I know we have enough glass down here. It's probably all in here. Yep, there it is. Okay. So we can still sort of see the outside from the top. Because the sky is so pretty. I think that would be cool. And we're also, I think we're going to go steal some lanterns from the village over there. Because I don't want to use my own iron to make them. Because that's lame. then three. I don't think they can get up here. Oh, they can. No, they can't. Ha. <laughs> Idiot. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. So one more. Over here. And then the rest of this is just wood. There we go. Go ahead and finish this stack off. Okay, and now our last stack, perfect. All right, there we go, we're all built. Wow, okay, where's the door? Awesome, all right, let me eat this potato. All right, we should be good. You've got to be kidding me. All right, well, anyway, so whenever we can sleep again, I wonder if I move it right here. That's far enough away. Okay, what about if I move it over here? Okay, there you go. <laughs> got it. We got it. Yay, they're all dying. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, and we can still see the sky. Right? You don't- we don't- do we need to put logs right here? And then we can do... Should we have done logs one more in? Oh no. Or do we think it looks good? I don't know. That's so pretty. If only I was rich. Why aren't rich people doing this? This is so pretty. I think most rich people have no taste. So sad. They could hire people to have taste for them. I think we need to put logs around the edges. Crap. Okay. Let's go back up there. Yeah, I think I think we need logs right here. All right, and I almost want to put um, a log right here, too. Hmm, I think it's okay. We'll leave it like that. Okay. I do think this looks better, though. And then... And maybe... Bring this glass in just a little bit. Oh, is it four, four, and four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's four, four, and four. Oh, we did it. Perfect. It's symmetrical. Ah, okay. 
nice all right and then what we're gonna do check this out check this out okay we're gonna go steal some lanterns from the village this is gonna look great are you ready for this it's gonna look great 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 doing the long run over here hello bunnies to check something on my phone. All right, we're gonna steal these four lanterns. Yep, yeah, sorry, dude, sorry. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, there's bookshelves in here. Oh, we're gonna take these too. Oh, and we're gonna take those fences too. Also, I also wanna take these. I, re I think I changed texture packs. I don't remember. The torch is looking this cool. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go over here. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look great. Ready for this? Um. Okay. Can you hang torches from half? Okay, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Run back over here. grab whatever that was. Alright. So, we have those four in the middle. We're gonna stand on some dirt. Okay. We're gonna hang you can hang them from sweet so I would do chains but I don't know how to get chains um can you I don't think you can make them chain minecraft is that what they're called yeah chains okay I'm an adult Okay. <laughs> Stupid website. Okay. It says renewable. Where do you get the chains? Natural generation and bastions, ruined portals, above magma keep spawners. Chains also generate in mine shafts. Might have to find one of those. Crafting. Okay. Anyways, what I was going to do, let me see if you can hang, I don't know if you can, but we're going to find out. There's the dirt pile. Okay, we can do... And if it's cash money, no, you can't hang them from the app block. <sighs> All right. Well, what can we do? So I was going to do like a spiral down. But, gosh, that's going to block the light. I think it would look better with chains. How fast do you think? Okay, if we dig straight down somewhere, what are the chances that we're going to find iron? Does anybody, does anybody want to bet? Um, maybe if we just go down there, we can find some. 
we don't get blown up by a creeper. Oh, we also need food. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe. Oh, 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 yeah, we're gonna. Okay, we're not gonna go down there. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna speed walk. We're gonna calmly speed walk back this way. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh, what if we go this way? No, we need to we need to get food. Stop it, stop it, M. We need to get food. Okay. Let's go. I think our farm should be Yeah, right over there. And if stuff isn't growing on that farm, I I I, I don't I don't know what we need to be doing about that. I feel like stuff should probably be a growing on the farm. All right. Well, the pumpkins are doing great, but see, the the wheat's not even full grown. Is this full grown? Okay, that was full grown. This looks full grown. That was not full. You're kidding me. Okay. Well, are these full grown? No. How about, are these carrots? No, those are potatoes. I can't remember if I had carrots. I might not have had carrots. They look like beets. Got some beet growth. Okay. And we've got some potatoes. Good. Alright, so we've got some stuff. I should probably replant some of those potatoes. And some of the beets. I think we can make soup, right? Oh, those are no longer tilled. That's fine. We can probably make some soup. Not in here. That is our plan. Okay, I'm going to take that out before I do something dumb again. And we're going to bake the potato. Bake, potato, bake, bake, potato, bake, potato, bake, bake, potato. I wish it didn't take so long to bake potatoes. The baked potatoes are really good, but they take forever. <clears throat> or at least they do if you want to make sure they're done all the way and you didn't just waste 45 probably going to kick somebody out of their bed. Yeah, sorry, dude. Get out of here. Okay. Alright, awesome. The zombies are upset. Everybody's upset. See, I wish they, they had some chains. They don't have any chains. They have a lot of lanterns. 
Because I could kill him for iron, but I don't think it's worth it. Alright, should we just try and dig down? I think we're going to just try and dig down. Yeah, I think we're just going to dig down and hope that we find some iron. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pro strat. Stand in the middle. And then you can do two by two. And you won't fall. <laughs> it's probably more efficient to do this. We will either hit something of value, or we will hit bedrock. Hopefully we do not hit a cave. That would not be very good. Oh, we hit coal. That was honestly probably pretty probable. So I guess I'm technically using my iron pickaxe to do this. It's probably pretty dumb. <laughs> it's a little wasteful. It's okay. Well, it kind of looks like... I, I guess they, they made it uh, the ground a lot deeper in one of these updates. I should probably make a cobblestone pickaxe. Oh, some weird shading going on there. Okay. Oh, that is... Oh, there's iron. Ah, we did it. <laughs> okay. Look at that, look at that. Right, that's iron. Also cobblestone, andesite. What's that? No, that was iron. Yeah, raw iron. You know, did we already have some? It was just raw. I think we already had some, and it was just raw. <sighs> All right, well, that's one, one, two, one, two, three. So we need six. About six, I think. Let me go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and make a cobblestone pickaxe. Okay, great. And we're gonna go ahead and switch that so I don't use that weird one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's so much. Oh, it's gravel, that's why. So that plane worked out pretty good, huh? Oh, I don't know what this stuff is. What is this stuff? Cobbled deep slate? This is from another one of those updates that I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to. It sounds pretty cool. Alright, I feel like we might just find oh what is that is that more iron i can't tell with this texture pack okay yes it is perfect perfect all right this is perfect this is exactly what we needed huh our strategy worked also it sounds like there's a uh, there's a cave I don't know. Okay, and now we just uh, go straight to the top. We're gonna use... Actually, that deep slate looks pretty cool. So, we're gonna start by using the diorite. And then, whatever subtype this is. I, I hate this stuff. I wish they never put this in the game. The andesite diorite. I don't know. Creorite. I was 
cobstone, cobstone. Granite? Sure, I'll use that. Um, I'll just go for cobblestone. We'll go back up here. Up, up we go. Should be getting to the top. Any second now. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do that. And we're going to run back to our house and smelt this iron that we have. Put it in the house and then we're going to call it a day, I believe. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and smelt. I want to say there was already some in here. I thought I saw... Yep, there we go. I thought I thought, I thought it was the rabbit for a second. Alright, raw iron. So we didn't even have to do all that. Oh well. Alright. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this down. Alright, perfect. And now we go here. Oh, that's not. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Chains. Chains. Okay. And gonna get up on the dirt again. Okay, and we want one chain here. And we're gonna go with two chains there, but we're gonna do that. Okay. We need some more raw iron. Okay. And then one more chain here. So that's one, two, right? And then we need one, two, and one more. Like that. And then one more. There we go. Look at that. Super fancy. Super fancy. Nice. Right? That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Alright, well, anyways, I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thanks for coming and chilling and watching Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want a part four, of course. And if you have a hunkering for more gaming in general, check out the gaming channel. Uh, we're having a lot of fun over there and hopefully it'll just continue to be a good time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great week. <laughs> All right. Bye.